Hey, welcome to Precision Rifle Reviews. I'm Tristan and what we're taking a look at right now is part two of the March Genesis Rifle Scope. Now this rifle scope, straight out of the box, is like nothing else on earth. If you shoot long range, and long range is not determined by a long range, long range shooting to me um, is the facet of taking a cartridge's capacity or capability could you say and sort of taking it to that limit so for example this is a totally standard um, Seiko quad range in the caliber of 22 long rifle and today we were shooting it at 504 meters with this uh, with this optic and this optic is the only reason that I was able to get out there. Here we are here, so it's at 504 meters or 551 yards. And as you can see, we were able to get on really quite well. Um, in order to do that, I had to dial 34 um, miller radians of elevation. A normal rifle scope might have 20, some have 30 mills uh, in the high end of things of elevation to put into perspective the march genesis has 114 mill radians or 400 moa of uh, of elevation depending on which one you pick so leaving nothing to it let's get straight to the review of this optic we've already done an unboxing on part one part three of this video is going to be more about actually getting out in the field and you seeing through it and all the uh sort of the workings of it. This is just going to be um, basically the review of the item. Starting at the front, we have a 56 millimeter objective lens. I'm demonstrating this scope to you with the included sunshade, which just screws on. Um, so you've got that there. The, um, like I mentioned, 114 mils of available elevation, 40 mils of, um, of windage, the side focus style parallax can start at 20 meters and quite obviously go to infinity. You have the top Picatinny rail. Now this main scope body um, will stay solid. So whatever you put here, let it be a light accessories, all those sorts of things will always just be true. A little bit of an educational lesson where this is where the March scope Genesis comes into its own. It really is like nothing else you've ever seen before. So here's a little lesson on how a typical, not this, a typical rifle scope will work. Let's just say that this is your objective lens and this is your eyepiece. Inside the scope, this is your scope tube. Inside the scope tube is another scope tube. And as you dial elevation, it pushes this up or down. Your reticle is within this center tube and it will move and you will look up or down through your objective lens. Your, of course, your objective lens does not move. That is not the case with a March Genesis. This is your main scope body. This tube is your eyepiece, your center, and your objective lens all in one. What this means and what your advantage is, is that it will not matter if you're at your zero or at 400 MOA, the rifle scope will stay optically center throughout the entire range of elevation. No other rifle scope on earth can do that. Not only can it do that, it can dial maximum elevation and maximum windage simultaneously. Typically in a normal rifle scope, as soon as you put any windage into your, um, into your optic, that will come off the elevation. So it's just not the case in this one. It really is sort of reinvented the wheels. You'll notice that there's no ring system. It's an integral base. There's on the other side of the rifle here, on the other side of the scope, should I say, you'll see that the um, there's four uh, half inch bolts that attach the scope to a Picatinny rail, which is put under your action. Now the rail itself has got four bolts that go up onto the inside of the uh, scope body and it's got front and rear very large doweled recoil lugs. Um, if you were worried about this optic potentially coming down and hitting on any uh, rails or accessories, your barrel and all those sorts of things, included in the box is a spacer so it can go up. This is a six to 60 power 
magnification. And as you can see from the 60 position point there, just with one finger by the fast throw lever, all the way back to 60 power, there's absolutely no movement in that. It is rock solid. You will find also included the two position lens caps. They come with travel caps as well, but I like these ones because they don't flap in the wind and that's where we're out shooting these things. Let's just go through some of the specifications. This particular one, and I will put a video of the uh, of the radical through the um, through the scope today up at 504 meters, is an FML dash MT, which is the name of it. Doesn't mean much. Uh, black, obviously, color. The uh, focus is from 20 meters for the side parallax. Your eye relief in the low um, is from 67 to 80 two millimeters and in the high 63 to 82.5 millimeters the windage 40 mil radiance elevation 114 millimeters now this is a really important one the click value as you dial through your through your elevation most miller radiant rifle scopes will have each single click is worth 0.1 of one miller radiant which is quite normal this is half that value. So what it means is at very long distance, you have a very fine um, you know, sort of unit of, of measurement at 0.5 click value, which is a very, very good thing. The entire weight of this rifle scope is 1,455 grams. The entire length is uh, 400 millimeters. Exit pupil uh, diameter, 3.3 uh, millimeters in the low and 0.93 millimeters in the high which is great scope tube it doesn't actually give you a dimension because hey look at it <laughs> if we was if I was to give you something I would have to say the scope tube the scope body is bigger than the objective lens it's like what a 60 mil scope tube um, the other thing that this one does um, have is the high master lens series so this is something unique to uh, Dion March scopes um, and what that is, is a super, super high definition rifle scope. Now I've got some really lovely other March scopes. This is my first high master, and I cannot put into words how adequately good this glass is. I had quite a few people at the range today looking through this scope, and we were all of the same opinion. You can actually see through the mirage in a lot of instances. Um, it really is just absolutely next level. Um, the rifle does have a zero stop feature so currently if I dial up some windage just like this I don't know where my back to zero you might not know where that is but I've got a zero stop set so without looking at it it's just stopped on back to zero the thing with a lot of rifle scopes to change and check turn that zero stop on and off it's take the whole turret off fingers down into the bowels of the scope into the grease and the grime and everything out in the field and it just goes horribly wrong this is how you turn on and off the zero stop on a march scope i'm so impressed by this i've actually uh i've actually done videos i've done a video before just on this feature i would buy a march scope just for this and we're done you take a flat blade screwdriver, turn that four or five rotations, and that's how you turn the zero stop on and off. There's no other rifle scope like that. Um, these are handmade, guys. Um, any rifle scope that you can think of in the world, you go to your local dealer, they will order it in, and you've got yourself a rifle scope. The March scope are handmade by optical engineers in Japan. It's a little bit like buying a Bugatti, if you want to put it into the car, car world. Um, they are very, very exclusive. There is only three licensed dealers for much scope in the world. We're lucky enough to have um, Stuart and Nanny um, Elliot here in Australia. Both of them are world champion shooters and they are actually um, part of the development team for this rifle scope. Um, they're at BRT Shooting Supplies up in Queensland. I'm gonna hyperlink their information below. Now I have bought and paid for this rifle scope but full disclosure, I am a uh, March Scopes sub dealer in that if you want to look through this or any one of my other March Scopes or any March Scope in the range, you can give me a call. 
I will make one available for you. You can look through it, you can purchase it. I will help you with mounting and all the facets of shooting and all that sorts of things. And it's just for the service that we do because they are very, very, very exclusive. So like I say, a handmade item um, made by optical engineers. Now from the original prototype, they did include rubber boots, the Picatinny rail, not only one, they added the second uh, spring adjustment, and that's just make sure that when you are, when you are firing, uh, everything is always going to return to zero. Now I took this to maximum elevation and back to its zero stop, no fewer than 10 or 15 times today, and I absolutely guarantee you those rounds were just impacting exactly where they should have been every single time. There was no problem with repeatability um, on this rifle scope. The reason that I have it on a 22 is a lot of people have said, oh, well, you know, March Genesis, yeah, but I don't have a 50 cal, I don't have a 416. Neither do I. I've got a 22, and here we are shooting at 504 metres and playing a huge amount of wind and elevation and all those sorts of things, and that's really what it is. The March Genesis can go onto any single rifle scope. It can go onto a 223, shoot it out at 1500 metres. You will have an absolute blast trying to get wind readings and reading mirage and all that sort of things. It's the, uh, it's the fascination of external ballistics that we play with and, uh, and this rifle scope has just sort of made all that um, sort of available to us now. Um, the next step for this one is I'm gonna actually try and get the 22 on at 1,000 meters, which I'm really excited about, 504 meters with some pretty sort of reasonable shots given that I was dancing left and right of the target by upwards of 1.8 mil rads purely because of wind. Um, 1,000 metres for this is going to be a fair old effort, which we're going to try. And then we're going to get it over onto my 338, and my goal for that one is to get a um, 3,000 metre shot would be my end goal, but we'll probably take some uh, some baby steps on the way there. I'm Tristan. I really appreciate you guys coming along watching our videos. If you do like them, make sure you hit the subscribe, share, pass it around. We are on a couple of different platforms with YouTube and uh, Facebook, so make sure you get across both. I will see you on the next video. So this is six power, let's go through 10. 10 power, through 20 power, through 30 power, through 40 power, to 60 power. Okay, so that's maximum elevation at 504 meters. And as you can see there, the, um, the, the center hold reference point, even on a clay target down there on the left hand side, you'd uh, quite simply have the option of holding left or right of it. Um, if you get focus good enough, I can see the bullet holes in our target up there at 504 meters, which we won't be able to do with the uh, camera phone of course, but let's just go back to uh, six power now. You can see the throw adjustment, how quickly it does that. That's back to six.